Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. Today I have some amazing news on the Samsung Odyssey G7 Monitor's newest firmware 1009.3. And among other quality control improvements, this firmware finally removes and eliminates any flickering that you have been hearing or seeing on your monitor or on other monitor videos. I have just downloaded this firmware and I can confirm it eliminates all flickering with the new VRR option in the monitor menu. Now here just go to Samsung Odyssey G7 Gaming Monitor support website, download the firmware and you'll be able to experience flicker-free gaming with G-Sync on. It only took them about five months, right? So here is Civilization 5 with G-Sync on and VRR option off in the monitor menu. There's a new option in the menu that says VRR on or off and I'll show you that in a bit. Right now it's on off and I want to show you the flicker. You got to really stare at the picture. This doesn't flicker that much. There is flicker I will show you here on Civilization 5 and coming up on the NVIDIA Pendulum demo that shows crazy amount of flickering so you could easily see what I'm talking about. I will note up top is there was a little bit of flicker right there. I'll put flicker on the screen just so you can see and if you want to rewind the video just so you can see the flicker. Now well this is a very slow pace but scrolling game the flickering is really pronounced when you're you know static image or when you're looking at the at your data the flickering can be pronounced and can bother but here you can see there you go that was a big one right there I hope you guys saw that on the camera now again I'm not going for quality here of this video I just want to show the flicker I want it to be pronounced so you guys can see what the flicker does and why it's so bothering for so many people now let's go here with no flicker here is VRR on in the options in the monitor as you can see right there so nothing there is no flicker I can't replicate it on Doom Eternal Civilization 5 among other games not even in my editing software which I've always stated on the Dell S3220 DGF and on the Samsung Odyssey G7 with G-Sync on I would always get flickering on my editing software and I believe because the sub menus in a lot of games like Warzone, my editing software, run at sub 60 frames per second. I want to say 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. The sub menus or the menus are running at a lower refresh rate and that's why we were getting all this flickering. But Samsung did add the VRR option which syncs everything all together and as you can see no flickering there. Now look at here. This is the best demo you can get to test flickering. Everyone that reports flickering puts up this demo and they always see it. Look, there is no flickering. We will mess around with some sliders right now so you can see the range of the flickering. But I wanna show here, it's on. Look what happens when I select it off. Crazy random flickers everywhere. Look at the mountains in the background. You'll be able to notice it as we move around here on the screen. That's a lot of flickering. As you can see, see right here in the back of the mountains, you can see it easily. So much flickering going on right now. And we're not looking at stutter or frame drops. We're looking at the flickering of the panel. The camera is picking it up perfectly. You can see it right there. That's the flickering that everyone talks about. And that looks really bad when you're gaming. Now look what happens here. Remember this is on the newest firmware, I'm putting the VRR on in the monitor. And look what happens. No flickering. The flickering has been completely eliminated by this new VRR option. There is nothing, nothing in the background with the mountains that show flickering whatsoever. Now we'll leave it here for a bit. Again, I'm gonna be moving some sliders and moving the game camera around just so you can see. Let's go to, mm, let's go to 220. Let's stay within the 240 hertz range. And we'll go here and we'll show different sliders so you can see no flickering whatsoever. I'm gonna be saying flickering a lot, but it's, Something that every Samsung Odyssey G7 owner or who is thinking of getting this monitor has 
stop them from getting it because of that reported flicker from among various review websites and customers themselves. If you read the comments in all my Samsung Odyssey G7 videos, there are worries on this flicker problem or people having this monitor and exchanging it. And like I have always said, stay positive, stay committed. This will be fixed and I'm happy to report it's fixed. You know, I don't return my monitors. I will not show you anything that I don't have faith in. And this Samsung Odyssey G7 finally has been fixed from the Samsung techs. Thank you, Samsung, for actually fixing this. It took you only five months, right? But we're happy. I'm grateful. Thank you, because this monitor is the best VA monitor you can buy currently on the market this year. As you can see, look at that, the flicker with the VRR off option. I guess Samsung found a solution here. This is what syncs everything together and it keeps everything in sync. And look at that flicker with it off. That's why you need to enable it once you download the new firmware. This is the fastest VA panel you can buy currently on the market and it's one of the fastest on input lag for PC gaming and next generation consoles. Of course, with the 1440p, at 120 hertz and 4k signal acceptance now as you can see here firmware 1009.3 and you have to enable the vrr option sync gpu provides optimal gaming conditions that's the newest option here on this version of the firmware and that's what fixes and eliminates the flickering guaranteed so download this now and rest assured you have the best va gaming monitor on the market today so if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss out on a future Samsung Odyssey G7 video. I'll see you guys next time.